I don't need the Microsoft Word file anymore, so I can close that down. And I'm just going to use the full screen real estate for InDesign. I'll press the W key to show the grids and guides because unless we have the grids and guides on, we'll not see the placeholder frames, those great big X's where we need to deposit our images. Now, before we import any images, we need to go up to the layers panel and unlock the images layer because we need to be able to interact with that content. And then we'll head up to file and choose place. That takes me back to the links folder. We need cover to graduate and L Hamilton. And then you can click on open. Note the number three next to my cursor in there. And the first image that needs to be placed under the headline. So as long as you hover the upper left corner of the thumbnail over the X and left click, it should drop it in there. And then the next one is the graduate. So again, I'll hover over that X and left click. And then finally the Hamilton one left click inside of there. And so naturally I want to make sure that all these images fit correctly into their frames. So I'll hover over the headline image and left click to select that. I'll then hover over the graduate image, hold down the shift key and shift and left click that will add it to the selection. Release the shift key, hover over the Hamilton image, hold down the shift key once more and shift and left click. That selects all three images. I can then go down to the properties panel and click on fill frame proportionally and tackle all three of those in one go.